Hey guys, so this is really cool. I want to share this with you. This is a new texture I've been working on, a new shader I've been working on. And what's really cool about it is that it can take an image which by itself is not tileable. Creating a tileable image from this is very difficult and would take a lot of time in order to do that. But what I'm doing is I'm going to mirror this image. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So here's the image that we were just looking at. And if you basically tile this image, it's going to look like this. And you can see right away what the problem is. And that is that we're going to get these very strong boundary lines. But if you mirror each one of these tiles, you're going to get something that looks like this. And you can see while there is a repeatable pattern, it's not near as strong and it works pretty good. So let's go back to Blender and let me show you what I'm talking about. So if we look in this scene right here, we'll see that we have the floor and this cube right here have this new CW tri tile, tri planer mirrored tile. And this is kind of a regular. Uh, with the exact same settings, this is the regular image as it's mapped onto it. And as you can see, we see these really strong borders. Yet over here, we don't see any of the borders. And furthermore, there's a lot of interesting things that we can do. So we can scale this, as you can see, and we can offset it if we want to. And then there's this rotation. Now, what does this do? Now, check this out. This is really cool. So I'm going to rotate this, and I'm going to keep rotating it right until I get to 90. And now I've actually rotated the image on all sides. You say, well, that's not that hard to do in here, but it is when you're in this box mode. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll take this image right here and I'll rotate it. And as I rotate it, and I'll put it at 90, and you'll see I get this stripes in the bottom. There's no combination of these that I won't get this to work. So this is a really difficult thing to do with this creating a cube map. But if you'd use a triplanar map, like what I'm using over here, you can do it fine. And a lot of times, especially with wood, you're going to want different grains going different directions on the ends of cabinets or the tops of tables and, you know, the floors and all that. So that's, that's really huge. Now there's also the ability in here. I've got these little, these little, uh, groups that allow you to adjust the roughness of this and you can just go in and there's roughness brightness and contrast and what i usually do is that with node wrangler turn on i'll hold the control shift key and i'll click here and you can see how rough this is and if i want to adjust that i can go you know down that's completely shiny right so let's go back and control shift click over here and you'll see that now we have a completely shiny object right there and the other thing you can do of course with this is you can also increase the contrast. So if you want a little bit more shiny versus dull, you can do that by increasing the contrast. And now we see, let's, let's just go ahead and look at it in the cycles. And by the way, this thing renders really beautifully in cycles. As you can kind of tell, it looks it looks great. And so we're gonna get some reflections in those, those high contrast areas that we want. I can go back in here and render. So I'll be converting a lot of my EV materials, creating a whole new group of EV materials with this new shader. And let me show you how easy it is to change the texture also. So I'll come in here and this change texture, I'm going to tab under this group, just tab and I'll go and I'll just close this one and I'll say open and let's just go to concrete and let's grab something like this bunker wall and let's tab back out. And now we've changed that. And again, you know, if, if I see something I want to move, I've got all these you know, I've got all these controls. I can move that that little dark area right off there if I want to. And I can adjust the scale as well. So there's that dark area again. So I just, if I want, if I don't want that on, I just move it right off. So I'm going to upload a version of this to my Patreon customers. And hopefully they can play around with it and give me some feedback on what they like and don't like on it. And uh, then I'll get it converted over to EV materials and we can move on from there. So thanks for watching. See you. Bye.